What are some lesser known secondary uses for an everyday product? Use salt as an abrasive and absorber when cleaning. I spray my stove top with a general household cleaner then sprinkle salt liberally over the top. It gets grease out easily. For liquid stains like wine, I pour salt over the stain to soak up excess liquid then come through with hydrogen peroxide. Finally I get absorbent towels and dab clean it. Bleach to keep away cockroaches. I used to get big gay cockroaches in the summer that came up my drain. My exterminator told me to pour one cup of bleach down my drain each week. You have to pour it down the drain in the room you see them. I started 18 months ago and haven't seen a cockroach since. Clear nail polish. Prevent skin going green from brass. Permanently stop fabric from fraying. Same goes with yarn. Seal paint. The $2 quick dry stuff is the best for me. Add salt to your hand wash to get gasoline smell off. Love, dad, I've always done salt and vinegar to get the gas smell off. But if you're working on a car, salt and vinegar will remind you of every air fine cut on your hands. Then add alcohol. Soon you will be wishing it was just salt and vinegar. Shaving foam reduces stops misting on bathroom mirrors and car windows. You can also use it to write creepy text like I died here or I'm watching you on mirrors of other people's bathrooms. When done right it will be pretty much invisible normally but the text will show up when someone is taking a bath shower and the mirror fogs up. Bonus, if someone has Alexa, Alexa, remind me to die in 4 hours, then leave, it will go okay. Time to die and scare the crap out of your victim. Toilet seat covers are the same as blotting paper for oily skin. This, this is my favorite one so far. Those papers are expensive. Perm papers are made of the same material and come in packs of 1,000 for under $5. They are cut to the same size as typical blotting sheets. I discovered this when I worked at a salon link. Any kind of cooking oil will easily get pine sap off of your hands. Just use it like soap. Would this work for windshields? Any cooking oil is a great way to remove the residue from stickers. IDK if this is recommended but if you get scratches on wood furniture I've always taken a matching washable marker, colored over the scratch, and then wiped it with a damp cloth. To effectively stain the wood back to match, rubber walnut nut on wood scratches. Also just go buy a small bottle of Goo Gone. It is that oil, but smells great and does a better job than cooking oil. It's like a buck for a couple ounces, and that bottle has lasted me years. That's called the meat, the nut part, nut meat. Cornstarch is a good blood coagulant if you need to stop bleeding. I saved my pet tarantula with cornstarch like this before. Her abdomen split after falling on tile, and the cornstarch stopped her from bleeding out. Several months later and she's doing great after that almost fatal fall. I'm trying to imagine a spider staying still enough for you to apply cornstarch to it. That's amazing. If it's serious superglue is also an option. Serious. IDK how true it is. But I've heard that superglue is standard military kit for this reason. If you have a French press for coffee, you can also froth milk in it after. Pour in hot milk and raise and lower the plunger until the volume of the milk has about doubled. Not my channel, but plugging for James Hoffman. If you like coffee, and want to explore the utter depths of the world of coffee, coffee gear, coffee science in a super chill and informative way, check him out. Vagisol for chafing, it's antibacterial, lubricating, and an anesthetic. I learned that in the army, and sponsor a NASCAR team. But am I poor and stupid enough to eat it? Also gives you an extra 2-3 inches drop on your curveball. Of course if the umps are watching me real close I'll rub a little jalapeno up my nose. Get it running. Clean mascara wands are used in animal shelters to soothe the animals by brushing. And to remove fly eggs and lava from fur. Can I actually send them mild mascara ones? Yes there are bird rescues that will take them. They just don't want you buying clean ones because that will just contribute to plastic production and they are hoping to just keep used ones from the landfill. Use vet wrap instead of sports tape. It's basically the same thing but much less expensive. Liquid laundry detergent glows under black lights but is clear under normal light. You can dip a tip and some detergent and draw right on your walls and only see it with a black light on. Different brands glow different colors. Lots of fun in dorm rooms. If you're in a dorm room. That's probably not detergent. Put a somewhat thick layer of Vaseline on the skin around your hairline and ears and neck when dyeing your hair. If you accidentally get dye on your skin, you can easily wipe it off. I used to do that. 
One day I could not find the Vaseline. I used olive oil instead. It worked great. If you have a highlighter that's dying, take the pen part of it out of the casing and soak it in nail polish remover. It will revitalize it to working like new. This would have made coloring time so much more fun in kindergarten. Especially since like only two markers would work by November. R.I.P. Yellow marker. Alternatively and delightfully, try instead taking the whole pen, securely taping a 1M length of string to the back of it, and slinging the whole thing around in a circle like you're winding up a lasso. Keep the cap on. The centripetal force can often get the ink up to the tip and get it flowing again. Thanks. Now I'm picturing some guy doing this in an office, threatening to thwack people in the eyes. WD-40 removes old adhesives from anything without damage or staining or discoloration. A smaller can of WD-40 can be used on a normal sized can of WD-40 when its lid is stuck. Tell you what. Blue Dawn dish soap works really well on clothing stains, especially grease and oil stains. Also many stains are set by drying, not grease and oil stains. Dawn dish soap is the best stain remover ever. Name brand Dawn is worth every penny, and grease stains in clothing. When I was a line cook in college. I used to wash my restaurant uniform in Dawn dish liquid every day to get rid of the built up grease stains and help with the grease smell. Makeup remover wipes are really good at getting bike chain grease off your hands. Also mixing some sugar with some fairy liquid. The sugar acts as an effective abrasive. What is fairy liquid? Coffee grounds are quite versatile. Among other things, you can use them for a soil additive to improve the pH balance for plants. Place them in a refrigerator to neutralize odors, scour pots and pans, de-icing your steps and driveway, and repellent, an exfoliating scrub for your skin, ground coffee, powder, is amazing at neutralizing vomit smell on carpets or fabrics. I was once in an international flight that would last 9 hours, and on hour 3 a child threw up on the aisle. The stewardess gracefully poured two handfuls of coffee powder on the leftover stain, after removing the puddle. And the smell instantly went away. Ironically, my infant son threw up his bottle. And, it seems from the quantity, they his last four bottles. It was like a quart. I don't understand how babies work. As I was reading this comment, I threw coffee grounds on it and came back to tell you it worked. This is like finding out magic and wizards were real all along. Stash your drugs inside a brick of coffee grounds to throw off drug dogs. Warning. Don't try this at home. Your experience may vary. An open container of coffee grounds will also absorb any nasty residual odors. Is he enjoying a delicious morning beverage or disguising the scent of coke from drug sniffing dogs? Condensed milk for those with chronic vomiting. Not only is it great for cooking, but I had a pharmacist tell me about adding some water till it is the consistency of thick soup. Get the person to sip small amounts of it slowly. It helps line the esophagus to reduce vomiting and allowing medication time to hit the stomach and work. Also provides much needed sugar. I've used it on kids and adults and it's worked a treat every time. Sweet and condensed milk? I didn't realize there was another kind until my brother screwed up his pumpkin pie so now I know to ask. That's a really cool tip though. I've never heard of unsweetened condensed milk. I have heard of evaporated milk. Is that what you mean? Hair conditioner as shaving cream. Calling something a game changer feels so cliche but this tip was for me. My razor doesn't get as gunked up. I can see my legs better so there are less cuts. It's cheaper than the nice shaving cream. But most importantly I use the olive oil conditioner and my legs are the softest they've ever been. It's insane how much more I enjoy shaving now. Fewer cuts. Thanks to the 10 of you who pointed that out. The conditioner I use is the Garnier olive oil. For my region. It is cheaper than the nice shaving cream I was using, or they're about even but the condition lasts way longer. I don't shave with just oil because it made the tub too slippery and I'm super clumsy I am a female but I do like the thought of being a 300 pounds D-liner with super smooth legs. If you run out of shaving cream, you can rub a stick of butter on your face, and then go to the store and buy more shaving cream. Ainley's is good for a toothache, and it's cherry flavored. I work at an adult store. Also, please don't use Ainley's for anal if you are having pain for anal sex. Get some butt plugs and a good lube. Just because you can't feel your sensitive areas being damaged doesn't mean they aren't being damaged. Silicone lube for butt stuffs. Unless using silicone toys then avoid. Most people have no idea how shtai KY is. 
it gets sticky, splurge and buy good lube. Vinegar is amazing, it can be used as a cheap household cleaner, refresh for coffee maker, and it can cure foot fungus and jock itch. Vinegar also works as a stain remover, for clothes and carpet, and a deodorizer, and is safe for pets to accidentally ingest. It also works as an O2 spray. Any particular vinegar you recommend? I'm guessing malt isn't good because it would smell horribly. I wrap those thick rubber bands. You know the ones that come around broccoli crowns. Around tight jollids to make them grippy and easy to undo. If you have a landline telephone, the dial tone is a concert F. By holding the phone to your ear and your finger on the first fret of the first string of your guitar. For example, you can use the dial tone as a reference pitch and accurately tune up without a tuner. It's actually two pitches, F and A, so make sure you don't tune that first fret a major third high and break your string. Keep a bag of cat litter in the trunk of the car, in case you need extra traction if you get stuck in ice or snow. I see you, Red Foreman. Random aside, I remember like 14-ish years ago. I read a fanfic story in which the character's friend had cat litter in his trunk. Despite not having a cat, it was mentioned in passing. I asked the author about it, and she assumed everyone had that, and couldn't understand how I'd never heard of it or why her characters wouldn't. I've lived in Los Angeles most of my life and her story was set in Santa Barbara. That was an interesting little international cultural difference that was interesting to learn. Q-tips to clean your keyboard. Nice tip. As a mechanic, a flathead screwdriver is a pry bar, package opener, square head, Robertson, screwdriver, hose pick, a punch, test lead, electrical bridge, scraper, chisel, and least importantly, a flathead screwdriver, Robertson, you sick F, I bet you'd use it on a Torx too, disgusting, I can say you can use a Torx in place of an Allen if you really need to, don't recommend though. Bottom shelf cheap vodka, put it in a spray bottle and squirt it on your bathroom walls to kill mold. Squirt it on clothes to remove any odors, use it to clean mirrors, glass, windows. Squirt it in your mouth to make cleaning more fun. You can just use drugstore ethanol, it's cheaper and stronger. Yay but they put bitter in it so it's not as much fun to drink while cleaning. Pickle juice can assist the pH balance in your stomach. This means when out drinking, if your stomach starts to feel queasy take a shot or two of pickle juice. Why vomit when you're out having fun? On a side and probably more relevant note, pickle juice is essentially the OG Gatorade. If you need to replace electrolytes or simply feel a bit dehydrated, drink some pickle juice and then some water. Kinesiology tape to hold up your boobs when your outfit is too revealing for a normal bra. I used a few strips of tape under my wedding dress. And my girls were good to go the entire day and night. And on that note, do not use duct tape to hold up your boobs ever. It takes skin off. My tits looked fantastic that night but it was not worth it. Electrical tape in an X shape makes a decent nip cover if you're going braless and don't care about cleavage. Also looks hot in a suicide girl's kinda way. Plastic fruit cups are great seedling pots. Eater. Have a toddler. Enough said. Adolph's Meat Tenderizer is an excellent treatment for bee stings, mosquito bites, Portuguese man o' war, and no siums. Most venomous bite stings will be less inflamed if you grind in a few wet crystals of Adolph's very soon after. Not fire ants, though. Adolph's Meat Tenderizer. I'm trying to come up with a joke here, but just can't quite get there. A jeweler's loop can double as a macro lens for your cell phone. Fixed the spelling. Good thing I have all these jewelers loops lying around. Loop FTFY. What a loop fiasco. Monostat chafing gel is virtually identical to the Smashbox makeup primer and so much cheaper. I carry a garlic press in my purse so that when I'm out at a restaurant I can make a small amount of baby food out of any steamed vegetable. Mind blown I have twin infants this will come in handy. Twin fence. I can vividly picture the incredulous look on bystanders' faces when you pull out the garlic press, and then the subsequent look of enlightenment and modest respect as they realize what you're using it for. Peroxide gets blood stains out. As a woman I was so glad I learned this at an early age. I've saved more than a few pairs of underwear and sets of sheets from being period use only thanks to this. Your library card can do a lot more than let you borrow books. It allows you to take free courses on Linda, or learn a language, and even stream movies.
A lot of libraries also have video game rentals, which a lot of people don't know about. You can also use the Hitachi Magic Wand as a back massager. That's ridiculous my back doesn't have a clitoris. Even if it did you probably couldn't find it anyway. I worked at a sex shop and bought the Hitachi specifically for my sore legs. It's actually way too powerful for my clit. As a guy, I find that using lotion on my entire body rather than only on my dick keeps my skin from being dry throughout the day. Buffalo Bill has been trying to teach people that for decades. Leftover used bounce sheets are good little scrubbies for dishes, especially greasy pots and pans, because they don't scratch, they're free, because they already serve their original purpose, and when they're all gunky you can throw them away. Computers are not only for browsing Reddit, they can actually be used for productivity, where do I click for the producing, I don't believe you. Scissors make for an excellent pizza cutter. Use a piece of scotch tape to remove the gunk from your airpods case. Those little dental pick floss thingers are amazing for cleaning corners. Splash a bit of lemon juice in your bong water and shake it up, coating all the glass. You'll get almost no brown res after smoking. I can't help but think one of these things just ain't like the others.